Hello everyone, Sally here, and welcome to the very first live stream from Truly Bedrock Season 3. Hello, hello everybody. How are you doing today? I'm very excited to be here. We got Handyburger being the very first person in chat, Flaming and Adity. Hopefully I'm saying your name correctly. We got Booty Comrade and on the diagonal six points of knowledge, Jedi and bad boy yo something like that carl john bull moonlight the stars bazold gas the silly warrior amrays and claire bear daisy moo rubber toe vex alta erupted or erupted something like that we got the real kaz dilla <laughs> and chris along with mr Sa uh sazer sazer something like that i don't know how to say your name <laughs> We got the Perfect Storm, Silly Warrior, CC, Meow's Cat, Bubba Craft, and Richer Scale, Vex Alta, uh, Bimiron, Bimiron, or Myron, something like that. Burning Paper Giant with the first Omega Flex of the season. I didn't even get time to turn off that redemption before, <laughs> before you got it. Uh, we also got Carl and milk dud banquet along with so many others welcome to the stream everybody we got so many first time chatters here welcome to the stream everybody if you've never been here before hi we get weird <laughs> let's turn on the game shall we can you see the game hello are you gonna work it's not working technical difficulties hello uh, whoop. hold on it's figuring itself out I just want to live stream. What are you doing? Do I have to close Minecraft? Technical difficulties. We get weird. That's true. Hey, there we go. Now it's working. Just had to restart Minecraft. <laughs> uh, great start to the stream. Come on, give me my skin. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's hop into the server, shall we? Jeez. We got stuff we got to get done tonight. Now you can see the stream. How are you guys doing today? Are you excited for season three? Do you like 1.17? I haven't streamed in like two weeks. I'm sorry, I've been Omega busy with Omega things. Yeah, yeah. So much, so much stuff has been happening in the last week. Hey. <laughs> oh, jeez. Bug rock strikes again. Honestly, 1.17 gets a nine out of ten on the bug rating. If it wasn't for the diamond bug, then like. It would be 10 out of 10. There's really not that much bad in this update. It's great. There will be a bug rock tomorrow, though. So stay tuned for that. Hype for more shenanigans. I'm so excited for Season 3. There's going to be so many good things in the season. We got shenanigans out the wazoo already. If you saw Episode 1 today, you'll know that it's just basically pure shenanigans. What's this? DB's wishing well. Throw in a donation for good luck. Is he living down there? Is it, is it an invasion of privacy to go down there? I don't care. I'm going down there. Ooh, fancy. It's kind of dank and dark. I like it. There's no donations. Oh, no, we can't have that. We can't be having my man DB with no donations over here. Jeez. We got to give him some donations. What are we going to give him? Let's give him some fish. It is well, after all. <laughs> oh, jeez. A silent drought. I know, we haven't had a couple streams for a little while. So, this is the spawn town. This is literally like day three on the server. And everyone is going a bit different this season. This isn't like a regular form of progression. Uh, everyone's going a bit slower and doing things a bit differently, which is nice. Uh, you can see the deep or uh, Rogue Fox has been doing the most building. Uh, building up the hotel. I actually need to remove these spruce trees for him. Uh, he pinged me on Discord to get rid of these these ugly things. New season hype. Uh, we also got a bunch of notifications. Thank you all so very much for the support. Let's see. We got Waffle with Follow, Vex Alta subscribing with your Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. CC with um, some biddies. We got Foggier, Muscle with the Follow, Aerospace, Blaze, Vinny is cute. Aw. <laughs> Uh, we got Kaju and Noob Boy Real along with the Dude Pizza with the follows. Thank you all so very much. Welcome to the silence. Also, Twitch added a new feature that tells us when we have a first time chatter. And we got so many first time viewers here. Hello, hello. <laughs> I'm giving DB fish. Yeah, everyone has got to eat. It's like getting underwear for Christmas. Hey, everyone needs a good pair of underwear. Underwear and socks. Can't have too many of them. But for Christmas, yeah. 
<laughs> uh, the 1.17 broke every farm, basically. 1.17 didn't really break much, honestly. Beacon factories are no more, which is a good thing. Bugs been around for far too long. Zero tick farms are gone. Yay! Less exploits and bugs. Same deal as the skulls, basically. And what else did they change? Drown farms give you copper now. That's chill. Copper's good. Um, what else did they change? I can't think of much else. Have we gone to the nether yet? Yeah, I went to the nether day one. Uh, there was a whole bunch of nasty, gnarly things in there. Uh, I included a little bit of that in episode zero. I had like three hours of footage for episode zero. Oh, I planted four of these things. Oh, man, this is going to take a minute. Jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. You have socks all the same color because school exists? Oh, you don't have any variety in your socks? Oh, I'm sorry. Gotta have some sock variety. Did they fix the cheaty XP furnace? They did not, actually. Uh, that's actually something that we've been using. You'll notice that we have 85 levels. <laughs> Uh, that's we got we got an almighty furnace god on the server. We're gonna try and keep it going all season The dispenser doesn't work anymore. What's wrong with the dispenser? Uh, give me all of your bugs any bugs that you found for 117 put them in the chat I'll write them down. I'll get them into a bug rock sometime in the next two weeks It doesn't pick up water uh, The diamond generation bug. Yeah, that's like the main bug of 117 that was already fixed before 1.17 even released, but it's not coming until the next hotfix. So we're just waiting on that hotfix, really. Should be here in a couple weeks, at the latest. Definitely by the end of the month. What day are we in? Um, I'm not sure, but we can check once we go get an armor stand. This is like actual day three of the server. We started it on Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah. I guess day four. Oh, yeah, the weird shield bug, yeah. Oh, Guardian Farm is super satisfying, for sure. I've never used the cheaty furnace before, so I'm kind of into it for a second. I'm like, hmm, let's see what we can do with this. Let's turn it into a thing. And is the black void of Obsidian Platform? That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty normal. Hey, Soldier Mom, welcome back to another live stream. How you doing? Hope you're doing the best. 27 months of subscribage. Damn. You mad lad. Mad, mad lad. <laughs> Oof. I'm pretty much just mining all these trees while looking at chat. I'm not even really looking at the tree itself. I'm just like automatically full autopilot destroying trees over here. That's how, that's how professional of a Minecrafter I am. I don't even need to look at the trees as I'm chopping it down. Uh, we got Bubba gifting a couple of subs to the channel, or to the community, to Moon, Rail, and Flaming. Thank you so very much. Show some love for Bubba in the chat, everybody. Being crazy. Right now, we are just chopping down a couple trees so that Rail can finish their hotel. Uh, just get these things out of the way. So that we can have progress. And then we're going to move on to doing some other things. I forgot that I need to remove these. So I'm just getting them done. Get them done for the rogue fox. You're eating pizza. Mm, man, I want a pizza now. Mmm, pizza. <laughs> okay, let me write down a couple of these bugs that you guys put in the chat real quick. Man, we used like... Nearly half the durability of this diamond axe on four spruce trees, really? Aren't these things supposed to have like 1500 durability? Wow. You tried every method to get the budding amethyst, nothing? That's good, you're not supposed to be able to acquire it, just like a mob spawner, basically. Let's see, what bugs was there? Uh, dispensers can't pick up water? I have to check all these out later uh, when I'm making a bug rock. You guys got any other bugs for me? I think the other ones I already wrote down. Disappearing horse bug. Yeah, I got a couple comments about that. I haven't seen any invisible horses though. 
I think that one's actually a kind of normal thing due to horse desyncing. It's like the game thinks it's somewhere else visually, but it's not. Like that, that just kind of happens sometimes. There's a few bugs like that around. Oh, wait, no creeper sounds. Get out of here with that. I already had like two creepers nearly blow up this place. <laughs> In fact, there was a creeper explosion. You'll notice that, that that's why there's grass right there. Oh, was Zappa. Oh. Oh. It's not burning anything. We have nothing to burn. We gotta go get some things for the furnace god. Gotta get some things for the furnace god. We can't let that furnace not have something to burn. It has to be burning, baby. It's gotta be burning. Hold on. Let's get back to it. Burn! <laughs> I'm trying to keep it running literally all season. Literally all season. If it, if it doesn't keep running all season, then we're not going to get a thousand levels out of it. We got to go harvest some more taters. There's more over here. I'm a monster. What did I do this time? I didn't do nothing terrible. I broke some vines. I killed some taters. I uh, got blown up by a creeper. That's, uh, that's the only terrible things I've done recently. Uh, I did kill some oxalotls. Yeah, that, that happens. That happens. <laughs> we have a furnace an xp furnace uh currently it gives you 40 levels per pole <laughs> that's why we're getting more tatoes for it okay so silent 2 is actually doing some afk fishing uh we're gonna go pick up the pick up some items from silent 2 and then we're gonna do some mining because we, we're still very much early game over here. Okay, let's test out this thing again. So, you have to power it. And then you have to take out one item. And then you have to exit the interface. Like, completely leave the furnace. And then get another item out of it. That's that's how you do it. It's really dumb. It's super, super buggy. <laughs> 90 levels. Oh, jeez. It's so dumb. Uh, you can have a cobble to smooth stone system. That's true. I'm super buggy. I am indeed. Hello, James. Welcome back for 30 months. You're mad as well. Jeez, you and Soldier both. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, so the thing about furnaces is, and the thing about smelting is, there is a ton of different things that you can burn down in Minecraft. And all of those things give you a variety of different levels of experience. So, for instance, if you burn down a piece of cobblestone into stone, that's only going to give you uh, 0 0.01 experience. So you have to smelt 10 of those. Or no, sorry, it's 0 0.1 experience. So you have to smelt 10 cobble for one experience. Not one level, just one experience. And each fish that you smelt down, for example, uh, gives you 0.35 experience. So it's literally like, you know much better like 35 times or something and yeah smokers are also very good uh that's actually like basically if you're gonna do an xp furnace system you want to have smokers you want to be using scaffolding for fuel and you want to um you want to be using fish so have a fish farm get your scaffolding use a smoker it'll be great Okay, so Silent 2 is AFKing just over here. Hi, Goaty. Hmm. Oh, he's probably over that way, actually. Yeah, there he is. You'll see what this is all about in episode 2. They changed the fishing speed? No, not really. Nothing's changed about fishing at all. Uh, not on Bedrock Edition, at least. Everything's the same as it's pretty much always been. Is that a creeper hole in the middle of the water? That looks like a creeper hole to me. Hey, Silent 2! Monster releasing thousand baby oxalotls. <laughs> nah, that's pretty normal uh, at night. What in the world? Did this literally just get blown up? I was looking at chat. <laughs> was there really a creeper on this? No way. 
Did he actually just get blown up? <laughs> I just got here. There's a creeper on the crafting table. There was a door on the crafting table too. Oh, that's beautiful. That's what I get for looking at chat. Jeez, thank you so much for the crafter for the gifted subs. We got five gifted subs to Daisy Moo. Four-sided triangle, that's illegal. Isn't that just a pyramid though? We got Dr. Cuddles, physics no novice, and lion. Along with Z Miner. Thank you so much for the support, everyone. I hope you're doing fantastic. I got a backup sound too. Let's just turn off that auto clicker. <laughs> I just nuked Silent too. He doesn't have any effects or anything. Like he could have died from that, but thankfully calcite is uh, a beautiful block. <laughs> Rips. Okay, so all of our items are down there. Uh let's see. I should have brought over a grindstone or something. Respiration 2. I don't want any of this, actually. Get out of here, fish. 10 bajillion percent. There was a creeper. Yeah. Rips. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. That's still got water in it. That's annoying. Oh, there's our crafting table. Okay. Hold on. I got this. Professional. We got more blocks down here. <gasps> Is that an oxalotl? Hey, it's an oxalotl. Oh, he's so cute. Someone took a lot of my blocks. I looked right at it. Well, I wasn't I wasn't looking at the game. I was reading the chat. I was being a professional streamer. I was like doing the thing that I should be doing, which is talking to you guys, the most important people on the planet. My best friends. <laughs> there we go. Blarg, so many items that we don't really need. Uh, there's no way out of that, is there? I don't have any wood either. Okay. I'm not gonna know what that enchantment book is. Let's get this guy into flight mode. Can he pick up that, that item? No, he's got a full inventory. Ugh. There we go. Controlling him is very difficult. He's a very free-minded individual. Hi. <laughs> water chest don't connect. Yeah, I kind of noticed that. I want to write that down. Hold on. Uh, water log chest doesn't connect to regular chest. There we go. Do you need to touch mine amp this box? Nope. You can just mine it straight up. Okay, let's get rid of some of these saddles. Get rid of some bowls. Uh, I definitely want to take all the fishies back. The fishies are very important to me. And we're going to take back any of the good books that we got. Let's see. Oh, that's a sharpness four, actually. Mm, that one's got a curse of binding. It would be good for a smite four sword, though. Silk touch. Nice. We got... What else we got over here? Hmm. Efficiency four. Bingo. Fortune 3, another bingo. That one's got a vanishing on it. Vanishing's the worst. Oh, straight mending. Straight mending. <laughs> it's your birthday tomorrow. Very nice, CC. Happy birthday. Hope you have a good one. Yeah, so gravity blocks can stand on top of a torch or really anything, Taco. Uh, chances are you just place the torch too fast. It's a little bit weird when you do it. You're like, ah, I wanted the gravel to break, but I'm too fast. Too much of a professional. So the game is just like, nah, gravel can just stay there. <laughs> uh, that's got a breaking three and efficiency four. Oh, and impaling five. That's good. I actually like that we're getting so many curses because it makes this a lot more fair. It's a lot harder to work around now. Like that curse of binding. This is only good for a tool now. It makes it so you got to be a little bit smart about how you do your enchanting. And also, so many curses is just a really fun thing. <laughs> See, do we get anything else good from this? Silk Touch on Breaking 3? Nice. Fire Protection 4? Ooh. Okay, that's a good, like, pants enchantment, maybe? Okay, what do we got from that bottom chest? More fish. 
Mending straight up. We got two of those from this. Not too shabby. Blast protector four. Hmm. So many good books. A curse of binding. We don't want that. Oh, you can't put curse of binding on a pumpkin on bedrock edition. That's sad. Uh, okay, I'm not seeing anything else of good. So we are going to take as much fish as we can possibly carry. Put down a torch on the silly thing. Like, he's literally in the middle of the ocean. Where'd that creeper come from? That's just silly. And I will get that guy back to fishing a little bit later. Do I have a fish farm tutorial? I do. There's actually several on the channel. That is the semi-AFK fish farm design. It still works really well, though. <laughs> yeah, we did have a lot of fish last season, too. <laughs> School is out so you can catch streams more often. Nice. Streams are fun. I greatly enjoy streaming. It's always a good time. Okay, so we're going to smelt down all this fish in the almighty furnace. It is going to give us an absolute ton of experience. And then we're going to sell the fish to the server members uh, for food. So we're kind of we're kind of doing it smart, actually. Hmm, chai. Oops, gonna hit that. By the way, I'm already basically done with my second episode. Uh, so you will have missed a couple of things, but not really. Uh, that'll be releasing probably Monday or Tuesday. FK Fish Farms are great. I wouldn't recommend them if you're new to Minecraft. Um, I'd recommend going like the standard route, doing your enchantment tables and stuff. But they are pretty solid. They're not ideal. Villagers is really the best way to go. Uh, Zloy's already getting into the villagers. Sounds like profit to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know it. There we go. Yeah, so Zloy's getting into villagers. I believe Liara might be as well. Jesse is. Everybody's getting into villagers. We got so much stuff happening. That's great. Moving villagers is terrible. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's get the almighty furnace set back up again. Gotta, th We gotta have more things to burn. <laughs> the reason why it's got so much experience in it is because of these fish, too. Otherwise, we've mostly just been burning, like, literally anything that we can. Like, if it burns, we've been throwing it in there. Which is exactly what we want. Okay, where did I put all my tools and stuff? I just put those, like... And here. Got my arrow back. Get some wogs. I had a bucket of water somewhere. There it is. Actually, this is my original bucket of water. I'll take you with me. For some reason, I'm always very attached to my, to my water buckets. We got some bananas in the chat. Nice. <laughs> No, 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 you sell the fish for profit. Exactly. Yeah, we're selling the fish for profit. And then we're getting the XP from it, too. I mean, look at all this. Like, this is probably about a third of what we smelted. I'll get some charcoal. Put that in there. Okay, so this room has the AFK Fisher. It's also got uh, random books. So these are all god rods. These are, like, perfectly able, ready to go for AFK fishing. I got those all straight from the Fisher. <laughs> like, no... I haven't touched these at all. <laughs> uh, we got like medium level books in the middle and decent good books on the left side. And I'm preparing more bows for god bow crafting in here. I already made like seven god bows. And this one is my chest of crafting gear. So I'm trying to lay out all the enchantments for my sword and armor along with my tools. So, efficiency four. We might be good to go for getting some of this done. Mending, silk touch. You know what? I'm going to put all these just onto the left side of this box. And we will deal with this stuff a little bit later. Once I have some more time to properly do that enchanting in an episode. But, like, we got a lot of good books. This is fantastic. I did fully enchant the pickaxe. It's got Unbreaking 3, Fortune 3, Mending, and Efficiency 5. So that's good. The bow is good to go. And I'm just trying to get all the enchantments for 
the other seven items. Then we'll enchant all of that at one time. Powdered snow slows phantoms. Well, that makes sense. That sounds about right. Okay, give me just one second. I'm gonna get some items out of Soylent 2's inventory. Because his entire inventory is full of junk. Absolutely full of junk. I probably should have grabbed some of that junk while I was over there, but I'm a big silly. So I didn't think about that. Does he have uh, everything? No, he just fell through the boxes. <gasps> he can he can fall through chests when in spectator mode. That's weird. Anyway. Uh, he's AFK fishing over there for one very specific reason. And that is something that you'll see in the second episode. Dun dun dun! Heard there's gonna be follower emotes. Yes! Twitch has made some amazing updates in the last couple of weeks since we haven't been streaming, actually. Uh, as you can see, well, I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. It tells you when we have a first time viewer in the chat. There's gonna be animated emotes. Animated emotes! Like from Discord, which is beautiful! That's something I've been wanting for years! Years and years and years. Like, yo, why don't we have animated emotes? That almost looks like diamonds. I wonder if anyone's explored it there, actually. Yeah, I've been wanting animated emotes forever. And then we're also going to have follower-only emotes, too. So, if you follow the channel, you'll be able to get, like, a custom emote. And uh, be able to use that everywhere. Which is very exciting. I need to add some emotes for sure. Gotta talk to Panda, get some animated emotes up in here. I'm so excited for that. That's like one of the best changes. Okay, so where do we want to go mining? So in Truly Bedrock, we fix the diamond ore issue. It's, it's like a very, very simple fix. Uh, so Foxy was just like, oh yeah, I can just do that. I think it's literally a one digit change. So Foxy just kind of did that. Uh, I need some of this coal. Make some torches and then we'll do some proper strip mining, I suppose. Or some caving. It's the caves and cliffs update. We should go caving. <laughs> uh, we're very much here for coal. That way we can make a coal blocks. Boop. Goodbye. And that way we can feed the forever furnace. The almighty furnace. Clay underground. Yeah, that is from the... The lush caves. Lush caves. Lush caves are great. Oh, you and your creeper sounds. <laughs> oh, jeez. I've yet to do like a proper mining session on the server. Uh, I've done a little bit of mining here and there, but no like proper full on sessions. So that is gonna be a fair bit of what we do tonight. We always have a lot of fun when we do these mining sessions. And now with the raw ores and stuff, it's gonna be a very different experience. Why not go cliffing? I know, right? If only, I'd love to go cliffing. Go cliffing with Clifford. Mm. Some high stakes pong puns we got over here. I feel like my pun game might have fallen off these last couple weeks. I kind of peaked a little while ago. I'm slipping into obsolescence over here. <laughs> Let's see, what else have I got? Um. That's all I got. <laughs> that was a solid four or five, you know? <laughs> I still got it. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, there's no more cave over here. Raw gold blocks are beautiful. They really are. Like, all of the gold textures, like, especially the gold, uh, the raw gold thing itself, very good. Lush caves do generate in 1.17. However, they're very rare. Uh, I believe this world has them churned up or something. I don't know. You'd have to talk to Foxy. I don't want to get in trouble. Deep Slate Lapis. Mmm. 
Dude, all the textures are so good. I mean, look at that. That's a beautiful texture. It's kind of moldy, but I mean, mold is nice, too. I'm literally covered in mold, so you have to agree with that statement. Ow! Rude. Okay, do some poke holes around here, some find some diamonds. Here, diamond, diamond, diamonds. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Easy. Easy money. This is great. This is an awesome mining session. Dude, there's just ores everywhere. It feels like one of those knockoff versions of Minecraft where there's just like too many ores, you know? But I love it. Because it's not the knockoff version. Oh, this is a good way of doing it, actually. Get some of those ores that are down there. Not too shabby. Okay, how many diamonds we got? You guys know the deal. Oh, wow, that's very loud. <laughs> oh, you know the deal. How many diamonds are we getting in the chat? The winner gets a free cookie. We got fortune three and three ores. That's not that many ores, is it? Oh, wait, where'd my water go? It's gone. It's gone. Alrighty. Uh, we also got a bunch of new followers. Thank you all so very much for the support. We got Booger Snot and Kazoo along with Cheffy and Romo, the real swish. Uh, Blaze Watt, Dallas fan, uh, Jackaraptor. Headstrong, not found, 6656, Mini Moto, and Ranger, along with Vagre and Daton. Thank you so much for the support, everyone. Also, thank you so much to uh, Mr. Snata Live, Live Evans, Live Evans, something like that. <laughs> thank you for the Prime sub, and thank you for the follow as well, Mr. Mushy Man. So much support. Thank you guys so much. Okay. Ooh, that's a good amount of diamonds. Five. That wasn't that many diamonds. Who said five first? Do 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 do. Somebody thought we were gonna get twelve. Do 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 do. Ah, uh, Jedi's are cool. With the five, very nice. And also Metal Hawk as well with five. GG, you both win a cookie. Nom nom. <laughs> that was easy. Okay, well this this whole caves is uh, dealt with. And get rid of this dude. I was hoping for a few more diamonds too. Also, I haven't died on the server yet. Just thought I would throw that out there. You can see on the death leaderboard, still haven't died. Me and Silent Two haven't died. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine other people have died. Oh man, DB with 18 over there. Oh jeez. Prediction on diamonds. Okay, can we find another cave around here? Look at that! There's literally diamonds right there! No one saw it. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, I love this cave. Whoever made this cave, thank you. This is a beautiful cave. Like, two super easy patches of diamonds that are just, like, right here. Okay, you know the deal again! <laughs> Spam the chat. How many diamonds are we going to get from this one? Oh, jeez. Ridiculous. So that is a vein of... Two? Yeah, two. Okay. Not the best, not the worst. Perfectly reasonable amount for a perfectly reasonable pigo. Okay, so someone's already been up over here. It looks like there's some cave that direction and some cave that maybe goes over there. And these lush, lush caves are beautiful. Alrighty. So we already had five and now we have a 13. Did we literally just get eight from that? <laughs> Alrighty. Well then, did anyone in the world guess that we were going to get eight? What... No one guessed eight. Not a single person. Oh, no. We did have someone. A uh, Space Ranger. Uh, Loomis the Space Ranger. GG. That is a out there one. Eight diamonds from two. That is 
I love this pickaxe. Wow. Okay, then. Nice. You win yourself two cookies, because that was completely not expected. <laughs> Thanks for having some confidence. I paid off. Jeez. Uh, let's hop around here some more, because this seems like a great cave for diamonds. It's such a mess, though. Like, there's so much cave. There is just so much cave. It's a little bit hard to uh, navigate, actually. We got some lapis. This is good. A little bit of a strip mine. Let's drop off some items. We don't need all these. Serves a name for such luck. Yeah, because you can only get a maximum of four, can't you? Uh, let's see, die right. Don't need that. Bones, don't need that. Let's put all the valuable stuff at the top of the inventory. We already need to uh, craft down some things, don't we? Glowberries, don't need that. I'm trying to collect deep slate as well while we're here. We got a stack and 12 with lapis. <laughs> Didn't we only mine like two lapis ore? <laughs> And caves updates, great. <laughs> okay, uh, there's more cave right here, actually. Now, one thing about the cave update, like 1.18, is there's just so much cave. Like a little bit too much cave, if you know what I mean. Like if you fly around a Java world in 1.18 in spectator mode, there's just literally cave everywhere. It's non-stop cavage. Gives Loy the next diamonds I find. Okay. Yeah, sure, why not? And they stopped this mine just in time, didn't they? That's fine. Uh, copper, copper, copper. Gold, coal, coal. Iron. More iron. Fantastic. Hey, we got an Axawaddle. Boop, you're coming with me. I, I just saved him from the orange water. He was like, ooh, shiny. No, 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 bad Axawaddle. We got some emeralds up there. I thought that was diamonds again. Evil. <laughs> this is not evil. This is uh, me... Teaching the oxalotl a lesson. This is me covering up the, the crime of the oxalotl. So anyway, how's your guys' day going? <laughs> I don't know why I placed on the bottom. Um, I guess that's a very deep level lake. But, uh, you know, we'll never know. We'll never know. <laughs> Someone clip that, please. I'm a terrible person. The world needs to know. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, the chat is still moved up. I forgot about that. Hold on. Let me move chat back down. Uh, let's see. Chat box. I did that for Monumenta. Chat box. Nope. This one. Doo, doo, doo. There we go. They definitely, definitely taught him a lesson. Yeah. Next time he respawns, he's going to be like, wow, lava. Big bad. <laughs> we have fun here. And also, I'm definitely evil. Uh, we're going to grab this copper and iron and stuff. I mean, how can you not? Right? How can you not grab all this? Oh my god, I just remembered that 1.18 is going to add the giant ore veins, too. With the, uh, like, 4,000, 15,000 copper and iron ore. Oh my god. Whoa, there's going to be so much things to mine. 
He went to the gulag. <laughs> you have a gulag emo. That's terrible. We're, we're such terrible people. Okay, so if you haven't seen episode one of Truly Bad Rock, you should definitely watch that on YouTube. Uh, it, it explains some and shows a lot of what in the world's happening on season three. Oh, Geo! Look at this. Hello, my old friend. How you do? Oh, all oh, these are like fully ground too. Oh, this is great. I bet you this area's been loaded a lot, actually. Oh, <laughs> don't mind if I do. Alrighty. Very nice. When's the new iron farm coming out, man? <laughs> this is the new iron farm. Uh, so we got 81 iron ore already. 24 times 9 of copper. 13 diamonds. Can I not craft the redstone blocks? Thank you. Look at all this. This is so much nice. Uh, we're gonna craft down the lapis too. Like we can we can keep mining for such a long time due to this uh, change with how the ores are stored and crafted. We can organize our inventory all nice like. Look at that, perfectly nice and organized inventory. We're gonna keep all this stuff too. Okay, let's harvest some of these bad boys. Mmm, we got fortune three, we're gonna get so many from this. Uh, that one's not full. This one's full, that one's full. That one's not. Mmm, that one looks full. Thirty-six. Not too shabby. Amethyst blocks are used for pretty noises. <laughs> 1 point seventeen is the only iron farm you ever wanted. I'm not out of a job. Some of the devs are like actively working to make sure that I, I don't have a, a bug rock series. <laughs> by fixing all the bugs which is actually a great thing I would love it I would love that that'd be great it's never gonna happen but I mean hey you know it's the, it's the effort that counts look how pretty this is yeah and I will say there is significantly less uh, significantly less bugs nowadays that like I can make a full video on back in the day there was like nigh infinite bugs that I can make a full video on Uh, nowadays, there's significantly less. So it's a little bit harder to cover things in general because you got to think of like catchy titles that are kind of a good catch all for a whole bunch of different bugs. And most of the bugs nowadays aren't really that serious, which is fantastic. Bedrock Edition has come so far in a very short amount of time. It's, it's really good to see. Okay, this is actually the main cave right here. We're back to where we started. Cool. How do we have lush, lush caves? Lush caves are in 1.17. They generate just very, very, very rarely. It's very rare. Uh, this world has all kinds of quirky, quirky terrain. See, someone's already been over here. Oh, that was, this was me. This was me. <laughs> this is where that uh, incident of the oxalotl happened. Yeah, that's true. I did make a whole video on the god mode bug. For sure. Uh, cause that was a really, really bad bug. If I really wanted to, I can make it like a short video all about the diamond bug, but uh, there's, there's no point. I'll cover that, uh, as a small section of another video. But yeah, it's really nice. It's really nice to see. Like, Bedrock Edition development nowadays is so good. We got it so good nowadays. It's great. The vast majority of big bugs have been fixed. New updates don't introduce that many bugs. There's significantly less uh, critical bugs. There's still issues, of course. And there will be for quite a while still. It's just the nature of sandbox game. 
but it's very good. Oh yeah, we got tons of redemptions. Uh, I need to look at those real quick. What kind of redemptions we got going? We got three wardrobe changes. Thank you all so much for the wardrobe changes. We got one from Hiccup. So we're going to switch over to... Let's switch over to the Burnt Pigo. From the moon crashing. Yeah, yeah, Burnt Pigo. Grab the rest of this coal. Thank you, Hiccup, for that. Uh, we also got some mod poles as well. And it's a just a pole. Desktop or laptop PC? Interesting. Let's do a pull, shall we? Desktop or laptop? Honestly, I prefer desktop, definitely. However, laptop is also fantastic. Silent 2 lives on a laptop. That's like his entire domain. This entire domain is a laptop. But desktop is where it's at. Desktop is where it's at because you can infinitely upgrade and swap out parts and change out things and just continually keep the same device but different. <laughs> Uh, whereas laptops, you can't really upgrade them that much. As another Oxawaddle! Don't worry, I've learned my lesson. However, this Oxawaddle has not. <gasps> More diamonds! You guys know the deal. Can I get rid of that water? I don't have to have Strider. I kind of don't like the clay everywhere. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, PCs are so expensive nowadays. That's a whole other thing. I've been trying to get a 3080 or a 5900X for months. Months. Literally since like January. Literally zero luck. Uh, so I can't move this cobblestone out of the inventory? Okay, we gotta relog. And then we'll break those diamonds. Switch for the win. <laughs> How are switches? I've never, I've never actually played one. Uh, also, thank you, Emmy Snook, for subscribing tier one. That's very nice of you. And Raven Knight, back for twenty months as well. You're crazy. How are you doing tonight? Uh, we also got Oliver Games with the follow, Crystal Impact. Uh, Jay, Tubby, Josh, uh, Kamaki, and S-J-S-H-E-I-K-5029. Thank you for the follows, everybody. Even if I can't pronounce your name, I still appreciate you. <laughs> Controls are a bit weird in Switch. That's understandable. Oh, is it literally just one? <gasps> it's two. Okay, so we got 13. Maybe we'll get another eight from this. I agreed to give these diamonds to Zloy. Let's hope for like eight diamonds, because, you know, he's my best friend. I want to give him a lot of diamonds. 21! It is eight diamonds! <laughs> it is eight diamonds! Look at that! Oh, jeez. <laughs> we got four diamonds in a row. Four times. That's great. Uh, let's see... Not many guesses this time, but the guesses that we did have were for six. Did I not scroll up far enough? Might not have scrolled up far enough. Nah, it wasn't that many guesses this time. Jeez. Okay, so we gotta give uh, Zloy eight diamonds. Perfectly understandable. Is he online? He's not online. Sadness. Uh, it's getting kind of late for him, but that man has no sleep schedule, so we might see him back on the server a little bit later. <laughs> oh yeah, he's my best friend. That's why I want to give him uh, my diamonds, you know? Precisely. 
That's what friends do, you know? Okay, let's get ourselves a crafting table up in here. Lapis blocks. And gold blocks. And four more iron blocks. Eleven more copper blocks. Wow. We still legitimately do not have enough room for all this. Uh, oh, wait, no creeper sounds. Bad creeper sounds. Is it just mirrors? Oh, there we go. Okay, coal blocks of 35. Nice. Uh, I'll leave that crafting table there. Oh, wait, no more creeper sounds. What are you guys doing? Just told you, no more creeper sounds. We're gonna keep on going this way until we find another cave. Who even needs to do strip mines anymore? Strip mines bad. Caves good. Okay, we got our we got our oxalotl. How do you say that word? Lu leucistic. Leucistic? Something like that. No, we don't have any Pico Trader yet. That's one thing we don't have on the server. No Pico Trader. Okay, we're looking for another cave. Uh, I see particles from a lush cave, from the Spore Blossom, but I do not hear any mobs or anything. Do, do, do. There's so much of this clay. I guess that means that there's probably some form of cave around here, right? We're never going to need clay on this server. <laughs> Don't need any bricks. Bricks is not an issue. Oh, that actually does solve the brick shortage, doesn't it? Lush caves are great for having clay. Okay, well, we'll grab this redstone. Hmm, I do want the deep slate. Deep slate is a fantabulous block. It's not actually that bad to mine if you got efficiency 5 either. It's definitely painful if you only got iron though. Grimstone is better. Nah, Deep Slate's great. Grimstone's kind of an interesting name, but you know what? I think they're probably going to reuse that name for the Deep Dark. Whenever we get those features. I mean, having uh, Grimstone be in the Deep Dark would make a lot more sense, right? I think so. Do, 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 do. Keep on digging, keep on digging. It's Grim Slate. No! <laughs> Wardens, man. More Wardens are gonna be great. Supposedly, is that stuff not even coming in 1.18? It might be a 119 thing. I don't know. There's so much conflicting information out there on what's happening when. It's a little bit, a little bit obnoxious. Obnoxious. Bundles would be good. Bundles would be. And then instead of throwing everything into lava, I could throw everything into a bundle. Okay, I really gotta get efficiency on this shovel. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go underneath the gravel. <laughs> we'll go down a layer, and then we'll go back up a layer, and a couple of blocks. Once we are good to go. No, I don't want that. I want the redstone. Thank you. There's so many ores everywhere. 
Oh, there we go. A little bit of lava lake action. Let's see what's down there. Uh, literally nothing. Sadness. Hmm. Okay, well, let's keep on going. Keep on digging. Oh, Zeotic farms are definitely a bug. They were fun while they lasted, sure, but it definitely shouldn't work that way, you know? I mean, pretty much any bug, no matter what it is, it's gonna get removed eventually. Either on purpose or on accident. Especially, especially the exploits and things like that. It's, it's kind of inevitable, really. Can't get too attached to, to any specific thing in general, really. Minecraft is ever-changing with every single passing day, so... Kind of got to go with the flow, you know? Or just, you know, play on old versions, whatever you want to do, really. Okay, andesite, bad. Get out of here. You're no longer my favorite, andesite. And we've been going a straight line for a while. I haven't seen any caves. Have I ever talked to IBX Toy K? Yeah, we did a couple collabs together. We did a whole speed run. We broke a world record, people. <laughs> He's a great guy. Honestly, really fun to hang out with. He doesn't use Discord, though. He uses TeamSpeak. What even is that? Also, we got another wardrobe change. From the lovely, fantastic Sea Soup. We're gonna go ahead and be the skin that we were meant to be. Four bit pig out. You're attached to elk logs. So am I. I like myself some oak, some oak logs. I'm used to like just one tapping gravel with an efficiency five shovel. But I can't do that, because my shovel sucks. Uh, I'm definitely keeping the calcite, because that's a limited resource. I think it's time for another crafting table, though. I picked up everything except the crafting table. There we go. Okay, seven more copper blocks. Jesus. So much stuff. It's beautiful. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Okay, then. Oh, there's more copper right there, even. How much copper is that? 48! Let's get her crafted down. We already got 47 actual copper blocks. Like, full, actual, real copper blocks made out of ingots. Put that single arrow into the offhand. Oh, that's actually a good idea. Save one, one piece of inventory space. Casper, what are you doing, you mad lad? What have I told you about being crazy? <laughs> Uh, show some love for Casper, everybody. Being the crazy. Uh, so we got gifted subs to a bunch of members of the community. Ten people, specifically. To Dante Inferno, Cal Wants Pizza. I agree. We got Haddles Dash, Meyer, Citrus Things, Oh Noob, uh, Deng Rice, Lar Larn Mama, Happy Plant, and Shipwreck. Thank you all so much for being part of the stream today. And enjoy your gifted subs from Mr. Casper. The crazy person that, that they are. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Crasper. Did I call you Crasper? Crasper. Apparently, I can't say your name. Who knew? <laughs> Hope you're doing good tonight. Uh, we also got Bravo resubscribing for three months. Welcome back to another stream. Are you using diamond equipment? Yeah, I am. I am, actually. Yep. I could go do straight netherite mining, but I'm doing things a bit differently this season. Oi! That was mean. No tool breaks. <laughs> uh, we also got End is Lime and The Bacon, though, with the follows. Thank you so much. Furthermore, we got Twitchy, Uga Plays, and Christian, Mr. Cow, Kamiki, Josh, Tubby Bowie, Jay, and Impacted... And a few others. Thank you for the follows. Welcome to the community, everybody. I butcher your name all the time. No, I don't, Brib. Get out of here. Everyone knows how to say your name. It's so easy. It's Brib. 
Bib. <laughs> Favorite change of 117 so far? Definitely the raw ores. Yeah, for sure. And Deep Slate. Deep Slate's a beautiful block. You like your water dog in a bucket. <laughs> it's a water dog. Is Are axolotls just water dogs? Brr is for short. So this is Rib. So your name's Rib. <laughs> oh no, we're definitely going to be doing netherite, but we're going to do netherite in a couple days. I got to build a sheep farm and a couple other things first. Hey. Oh, I thought those were diamonds again. Keep getting juked by these uh fake things. I swear if I die right now, I'm gonna be very understanding. Cause Minecraft happens and everything everything comes to an end, you know? <laughs> uh let's see. Oops, blocking myself in. Uh should we go off that direction? There's another oxalotl. I might switch out my oxalotl for the new model. Wapis. Yeah, let's go down this way. Let's see what's happening. Why is it so bright over here? Oh, this is uh, going to the surface. Oh, interesting. That makes sense. <laughs> New model. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a baby. Oh, I'm definitely getting the, the baby version. Give me that baby. I mean, the bigger ones are kind of kind of cool, but you know, the the small versions, they're more compact, easier to carry around, and they have a plus ten cute modifier. Okay, we got skeletons over here. Three skeletons. <laughs> that skeleton cannot make up his mind on where he's going. He's just walking around in circles. There we go, he's dead. Ugh, there we go. Uh, yeah, I don't see many or more ores. Am I going to miss my build on Season 2 after the moon destroyed it all? Yeah, it was a good build. It was a good build indeed. That was a really fun project. I did, I did enjoy that. <laughs> hey, more diamonds. You guys know what to do. Put your guesses in the chat. How many diamonds are we going to get? Oh, does that actually work now? Can you shoot gravel to update it? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I like that. I did that just out of like, you know, hey, maybe this will happen. It actually updated it. Wow. Do we have more floaty gravel? Can we try that again? Oh, <gasps> it actually does. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. That's a good change. When did they add that? I want more floaty gravel now. Oh, you're down there. Hi. Okay, so there's lava up behind this. I had no idea. Do the desert and just collapse everything? Mwah, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> that sounds really fun, actually. Okay, let's go get these diamonds. Oh, more emeralds. How many diamonds we gonna get? As many diamonds as the Minecraft gods think we deserve. Which apparently is a lot for this mining trip. Uh, let's see. 
Lots of copper. Is it just one? It's just one. Okay, well, we got 21 diamonds. 23. Okay, so we only got two from that. Let's go see who guessed two. Uh, Nagul, thank you so much for guessing correctly. GG's. Looks like you were about the only one as well. Very good. Uh, we also got Filthy G-Man resubscribing tier two for 11 months. You, sir, are actually a mad lad. <laughs> thank you so much and welcome back. We got Not Lucas, Power 4 Armor, Nice, and a Mega Lol with the follows as well. Welcome, everybody. Okay, let's throw away some items that we don't need. Look how much copper there is. This is crazy. Where should we go? I kind of want to go up there. Then again, I should probably go this way. Get into the bucket. Thank you. <laughs> This is a very productive mining trip. It's gonna be even better once we get ender chests. Which shouldn't be too long from now, honestly. Like, we got the obsidian, I just need to go to the nether. Get a couple of blaze rods. Get an ender pearl from the warp forest. And call it good, really. We got silk touch on us. Or the ability to make silk touch. We can make a new... Uh, we can make a new pickaxe once we get back to the base for... You know, silk touch and fortune pickaxes. And we're gonna make redstone blocks. Okay. Hey, make the redstone blocks. Thank you. Make the redstone blocks. <laughs> do we have redstone? We do have redstone. Can you make block? You can't make a block. <laughs> okay, we gotta relog. <laughs> oh, jeez. You just thought about what happens when you use a spyglass and a pumpkin? You gotta shove the spyglass all the way through the pumpkin. All the way through. Uh, everything I use is pinned in the help channel of the Discord server, by the way. Oh, and something I completely forgot about. Uh, it is gonna be a truly bedrock stream weekend. This next weekend on 19th and 20th of June. Let's make it so that you can see the screen. Ta-da! So yeah, we're gonna have a truly bedrock stream weekend with a bunch of people it's gonna be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 hours of streamage per day! Starting at noon, British summertime, ending at 4 a.m. British summertime. <laughs> so much. So we got Groova starting it off, Jesse, Tiz Tom, Bruno, JCB, Beardstone, me, Jade, Dadcraft. Day 2 is uh, DB, Zap, Foxy, JC, Lizard, Rogue. Zloy, myself again, and Liar. Yay! Am I the only repeat on this entire thing? Uh... I might be. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so check out the Truly Bedrock stream weekend. Uh, I'll drop a link into the chat. You can bookmark it. And then you'll know when anybody from Truly Bedrock is streaming on Twitch. Let's switch back to the game, shall we? Me and JC. Oh yeah, JC is streaming twice. That's right. I did remember saying her name. Twice. Oh, I need to make torches. That's why I did a pit stop. Boop. Boop. Okay then, continuing on. 
Maybe I should drop a chest and uh, leave our items. Some copper over there. I'm not too worried about that. I don't see anything off in this direction. Mm, is this the same ravine? Kind of seems like it is, really. <gasps> oh, I'm definitely switching out for the yellow one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep on upgrading until we get one that I like. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> I'm the oxalotl migrator. I just move around oxalotls. This is my job in life. <laughs> yeah, oxalotl mark five. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, let's go back. Let's drop off the items because we got too much of an inventory now. Just too much of an inventory. To do things very well. Uh, we really need an ender chest. Or, you know, shulkers or bundles. Bundles wouldn't really be that helpful, though, would they? It's good for, like, one of every type of die or something. Or, like, a whole bunch of random junk that you randomly pick up, but... I don't know. Is the Oxalato name Mark? <laughs> yes, his first name is Mark, his last name is Five. <laughs> You're gonna fit in great around here, uh, Flare. We gotta go this way? Yeah, we gotta go this way. Hey, we got a house back again! Woo! Straight into lava. This is why I shouldn't reach out. <laughs> Thank you for two months! I appreciate it. Of course, I get put out of fire as soon as I gotta jump into some water. Naturally. Doo 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 doo. Think, Mark, think! <laughs> Call him Wigglesworth. Oh yeah, we got Pigglesworth on the server, which is I'm very happy about. I haven't really done anything with Pigglesworth since, like, the very end of Truly Bad- or Decidedly Vanilla Season 5. Which was a while ago. I've done so much things since then. So I gotta give eight of these diamonds to Zoe's face. Meaning that we made 15 diamonds from that little trip. Not a ton, not a terrible. Mm, I kinda need like a new chest of loot. This was supposed to be the chest of loot, but now it's full of other non-loot items. I guess I'll just put all the, the loot things in there. And call it good? Uh, I definitely want to put all the ores into the almighty furnace. Hmm. And then we'll smelt those down. Get more experience from the almighty furnace. I definitely need another chest. Uh, all the coal can definitely be dumped into the almighty furnace as well. Oh, you know what? I need to put all these things away in one spot. We have like 50 of these. 50 of those. Do, do, do. Let's grab those. We had all those. We had 21 diamonds? I know we had three there. 23. Yeah, let's just put it all into one chest for now. I don't feel like organizing all this out. <laughs> Storage system win, please? Did I drop anything else anywhere? I know I had like three emeralds on me. I had amethyst as well. Where did those get off to? No idea. Maybe I already put them in there. There they are. 
This is a very unorganized system. I kind of like it. But also, wow, it's very unorganized. So get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Get rid of those. Okay. We'll save all this for later. We'll come back after we do the next part of our mining trip. And then we'll see how much we got in total. And then we'll we'll throw things into the almighty furnace. How about that? Make the furnace a religion. It's more like a cult. <laughs> You're losing it seeing the, the terrible organization. Good. We're going to go the opposite direction. Tough sounds really weird when you mine it. Okay, that's already... Actually, has this been explored? Yes, over there. And over here. Okay. That's tough. Mm-hmm. It's kind of deep, too. Let's see, nothing over there. Bit of coal. Honestly, I can't wait until 1.18. This is gonna be so much more crazy once 1.18 is here. I kinda like that we have this little in between update where like we have some of the cave update but it's still mostly as we know it and then everything is going to change permanently forever with 118 it's going to be completely unrecognizable okay someone's already got strip mines over here but only a couple yeah, the oxalotl bucket's kind of a bug. Um, you can pick up an oxalotl without picking up the water. Which makes it leave the water behind. <laughs> it's been around for a while, yeah. Just me, there's like no ores over here. There we go. Yeah, so you gotta pick up the water first and then pick up the oxalotl. If you don't wanna leave water everywhere, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> am i real i don't know if i am real blaze i don't know are any of us truly real are any of us truly not real no one can know for sure. The only thing that we do know is truly bedrock. Dun dun dun. <laughs> okay, that's all those ores. Keep on going. Should we do some dive mining maybe? I've had pretty good luck with dive mining. What is existing? No idea. Can't tell you. Proceeds to mine bedrock with a shovel. I've done it before. I'll do it again. <laughs> I have actually mined bedrock before. Like, <laughs> unfortunately, you can't mine it with a shovel. Actually, you gotta mine it with a pickaxe. I've done that before, though. I have tried to mine bedrock of shovel. Doesn't work out that well. Ooh, 
Ooh, more gravel. You know what this means. <laughs> also, is it just me or there's like no granite underground? I haven't seen like any granite. Ta da! That was very anticlimactic. Please don't spam the chat. Thank you. See, is there anything over here? Someone's already been over here. Let's grab this coal, though. We need it for the almighty furnace. And to run away from the big squish. Ah, squishy slime. Don't like him. Right. Is this my tunnel? This isn't my tunnel. <laughs> Someone just left behind all this stuff? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll come back through your strip mine. You already did all the mining for me. You just left behind all the redstone. Yeah, this is not mine, but they left behind all these ores. Thanks, person. Appreciate it. My mine is a little bit to the left of here, isn't it? Yeah, just over here. Uh, Truly Bedrock is invite only for content creators. Mr. Zarin. Which I'm probably butchering your name. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, we only got three granite. Weird. But yeah, we are a Bedrock Edition survival multiplayer server. We got like 18 different content creators on here. Lots of shenanigans. Lots of good stuff. Ah, save me, Oxalotl. Thank you. <laughs> Alrighty. Diamonds, please. Would appreciate them. Oxalotl, it's your time to shine. <laughs> yeah, someone's already been over here. But they didn't go that far, did they? They just kind of went straight through. We got a creeper. We got copper everywhere. We got... Oh, this is a big cave, actually. I like this. This is nice. A geode? That's cool. This is actually a really nice area. Let's ruin it. <laughs> that was a lot of gravel. Right, let's check out what's in here. Oh, these ones are all fully grown. Mwahaha. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we're stealing all this. You really want to build with copper, but you promised yourself you'd finish your base first? Well, who's to say you can't finish your base with copper? Hmm? Gotta be smart about things, you know? Oh, geodes are super cool. I love these things. One of the coolest features of the update, really. Okay, what can we throw out? Do, 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 do. Yeah, we should have gotten a fair amount from that one. Uh, <laughs> two and some stacks. Nice. I like that a lot. This is somewhere that's actually loaded as well. Because that would not be fully ground if it wasn't loaded. Ooh. Howdy. Can you give us an ender pearl?
Come on. Come on. Come here, Ender Pearl Man. <laughs> Favorite block of 117. Definitely Deep Slate. Everything Deep Slate. Especially the Deep Slate bricks. Oh, there we go. Hey, Ender Pearl. Fantastic. Just what I wanted. Cool. We're going to use that for our, our first Ender Chest. Grab some iron. What else have we got in this area? No lava right there, which is very nice. Let's see, we're, we're kind of above diamond level, but this is a great area to scout for lower caves. Like this whole area over here. Uh, that's already explored. Oh, there's redstone. <laughs> what is up with this miner and redstone? <laughs> You and your sound alerts. Justice for Enderman. Oh, don't worry, we got justice for Enderman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's dead. He got to see a cute oxalotl. And then silence forever. He's leaving redstone everywhere. I bet you there's more redstone down there, too. Do I want that copper? I want that copper. Anything up there? Just someone's lava and or torch. Hmm... There's so many ores. I love it. <laughs> Absolute heyday for miners. Like, nowadays, you won't need to do very much mining at all to get everything that you need to build things. Uh, no, I'm going to do... Do, do, do. 15 blocks of copper, 5 blocks of iron, 43 blocks of redstone. All of that was just left behind in their mind. <laughs> it's great. Favorite animal of 117? Oh, there's no question. It's got to be the oxalotl. You never pick up redstone? You just get it when you need it? What? Why would you not pick up redstone? I swear, I never have enough of it. Okay, all that gravel's gonna fall down. That wasn't that big of a deal. <laughs> that was another six blocks of copper. <laughs> Where'd that spider go? <laughs> he just like climbed up the wall and didn't attack me. Oh, Oxalotl Mark IV was pretty good. The baby oxawaddle. Pretty adorable. Get down to my lair. Come on. Get. In oh, you didn't even fall down. That was lame. <laughs> oh, the bat saved the skeleton. Rude. Bat, I thought we were friends, man. What are you doing? That's only happened to me a couple times before. It's always hilarious. Oxalotl Mark One uh, was a very brave soul. Uh, unfortunately, he had a little accident with some fire, but. Um I feel like he's learned his lesson. So yeah. See you later, KJ. 
Thanks for stopping by the stream. Hope you enjoyed. There's a lot of emeralds over here. This is great. We're a bit high now. We gotta go back down a couple layers. For the finding of diamonds. There we go. Y level 12. Yeah, let's try and stick around here. See what else we can find in this area. It's just literally so much ore. I can't not mine it. It feels wrong to not mine it. I can't just leave things behind. No ore is left behind. <laughs> Uh, there's a whole bunch of guides online for getting the, the proper gear and equipment and gaming stuff. I don't know anything. Also, right now is like a terrible time to try and buy tech because everything is super scalped and overpriced for no actual reason. So you're, you're best off just waiting, really. Uh, that's not my mine, but I can continue it. Let's do a bit of dive mining. This is actually really easy now. Let's not do a bit of dive mining right here. <laughs> Great moment for lava to pop up. <laughs> hmm. You know what, I got a feeling could be something good. Nothing good. I was optimistic. And the game let me down. You, you predict there will be diamonds within 10 blocks of me. Well, there probably is. It's just a matter of, like, revealing it, really. That's really the issue. And finding out where it's revealed. Okay, so we, uh... Break out this block. And then we go ahead and swim. And get into this block. Pick up this dude. Take away the water. And bam, we're good to go. Gonna go do some dive mining. Oh, this is so much better if efficiency 5. Oh, but silverfish. So the reason why dive mining is kind of the best is because you break the minimum amount of blocks to reveal the most amount of blocks every single time. Like every single block that you break reveals five blocks. Whereas with standard mining, you're only revealing like three or something. The new veins of ores are unreal. Seriously, in 1.18, it's going to be crazy. Okay. Man. Get out of here, gavel. I kind of need to craft down the things again, don't I? One point eighteen is gonna kind of turn the whole underground of the world into a dungeon, in a way. Especially with the deep dark being added. Like it's just gonna be chaos and nonsense and mayhem everywhere. <laughs> I'm really hoping they add some more hostiles, actually. Like we got three passive mobs in this update. Hopefully we can get some more hostiles. 
Specifically for like the caves and the underground. I know the warden, but that's gonna be like really rare. Oxalotl, it's your time to shine. What's over there? Uh, nothing that I can see. Let's get rid of that gravel. No, I can't get rid of the gravel because my head's technically in a block. Hmm. Okay, then. This is going ex exceptionally well. Any one more iron. A lot more copper. Lots more of that stuff. So much of everything. Amazing. What am I even gonna do with all this? I have no idea. We didn't even pick up like half the things from this whole this whole mine that we just made. No diamonds, that's true. Not as many diamonds as I would hope. But we can do some poke holes if we feel like it. Hey! <laughs> Speaking of the devil, here we go. That's a good vein right there. This is why you gotta mine all your additional ores. Ores love to hang out together. You guys know the deal. How many diamonds we getting? Uh, that's a bug 117. It's already going to be fixed in the next hot fix. We are just waiting for it to release, really. Also, welcome, Nussum. Or no, Sam. Okay, so it looks like we got ourselves... Uh, four? Yeah, four diamonds. That's not too bad. Okay, we currently have zero on us. So how many is that? Eight. Okay, not too shabby. Let's see, who guessed eight? That would be the fantastic nobody. <gasps> Rips. <laughs> do better, guys. Come on, you can do better than that. <laughs> we had some close ones. Uh, check a play with nine. Not too shabby. Is there anything else back here? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, I don't want those blocks. Yeah, that happens pretty often with swimming and elytra's chaos. Do do do. All right, back to the end of the mine. Well, we made back our diamonds that we're giving to Zloy. So that's a good thing. There's just ores everywhere. I love it. <laughs> I get my best friend diamonds. Darn, darn straight I get my best friend diamonds. We're best friends. I gotta give that man some diamonds. He's a beautiful friend. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Let's see, what can I get rid of? So many blocks. None of which are of value to me. Just here for ores. That was loud. Uh, awesome. Thank you so much for subscribing. Tier 1. That's crazy of you. Thank you, thank you. Hope you're doing well. 
Welcome to the Soylent streams. <laughs> so how would you guys rate 1.17 as a whole? Like all together. On a scale of 1 to 10. And tell me why as well. I would rate it about a 7, honestly. Mainly because the diamonds bug, like that's a pretty big issue. Um, it's not really a big issue, but it's something that like they really should have caught. With, with Minecraft, because you know, everyone loves diamonds. So they, they should have really caught that. Uh, so that takes off a couple points. But only one point actually. Even with that, it's to be a 9. 9 out of 10. But the main thing that I don't like about it is that there's so much conflicting and confusing information about the update. Like, it's incredibly hard to keep the facts straight on what's actually happening. Even from Mojang themselves, they have a very confusing, like, update. It's just all confusing. No one knows what's happening. It's chaos and mayhem everywhere. <laughs> So it's hard to know what's actually supposed to be happening when. And it's hard to get the information out to everyone as well. So that's why I would give it like a 7. Otherwise though, pretty solid. Like the bug rating gets a 10 out of 10. I guess a 9 out of 10. Very minimal bugs this update. Solid. Good stuff. 1.17 out of 1.7. Honestly, a 9 out of 10. 7.5 because it delivered well, but some of the bugs, fair enough. 8.5 or changes to dock slottles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you try to watch some of the streams in Silent 2, but you finally got a live stream that isn't on YouTube. Nice. 8 out of 10. <laughs> uh... Seven. If Drip Leaf wasn't locked behind, Watering Traders would be higher. That's fair. Uh, you can find it in the world. It's just going to be super hard to find. But yeah, just buy like two. Or just buy one, then bone mail it. You'll get a ton. Easy peasy. Easy peasy stuff. I'm going to run a poll on the Twitter. Uh, sometime soon. Asking the same question, how everyone feels about 117. It'd be interesting to see the results. I think I'll probably run it on YouTube as well. Twitter only gives you four options for a poll, though. Ooh, that's sneaky. I don't like that at all. I'm just gonna do that. Anything good? What are the chances there's something good right around that corner? Ooh, there was something good right around that corner. <laughs> Little bit more goodness. Nom nom nom. Anything else good around here? I got a feeling. I can't shake this feeling. Nah, there's nothing good. <laughs> 10 out of 10 wood oxalato again. That's fair. <laughs> um, Small drip leaves. It should be able to generate in the lush caves because the watery bits of the lush caves have the drip leaves. So if you can happen to find yourself a lush cave, which is very rare then you should be good. But yeah, it's, it's gonna be a hard find. Thankfully, they're actually making use of the Wandering Trader, though. Let's be honest, Wandering Trader is actually pretty solid. He gets a lot of flack, but the Wandering Trader does good stuff. We should give him some slack.
Why on Bug Rock? Bug Rock is fun. Hmm. Can I get more coal? I need to make more torches. Can't throw away anything else. Cool. Let's go back to the mine. Okay, I think we're going to head back in the direction that we came from, but this time we're going to mine out the bottom layer. Okay, that was a mistake. We're going to mine out the bottom layer starting from here and see how many things we reveal. This is something that Jesse mentioned. Zloy always did dive mine tunnels on season two, and then she would go back through and mine out the bottom or the top layer and just find a bunch of stuff every time. So I'm curious how much we actually find. Because obviously, like, you're always going to miss things. Like, that's just a matter of fact. Unless you're using, like, a quarry. But that's not really reasonable. So you want to find as much stuff and the least amount of time as possible, really. Which is where dive mining comes in play. Hi there. Let's craft some more things. Get more things to craft. Like, in theory, dive mining should be the best. <laughs> the wandering trainer sells rare biome blocks. You mainly just take his, his uh, leads. This is fair. See you later, Ima. Have a good night. I have not seen the first episode of Loki. I definitely want to watch that. Seems like it would be pretty good. A little bit of copper, a little bit of iron. Nothing really too special. A little bit of redstone. Just kind of hoping we find some diamonds from mining out this bottom layer. Hmm. Absolutely nothing of value. Sadness. <laughs> Oh, the chisel deep slate. All the deep slates are so beautiful. I love the bricks. I'm definitely going to be building out the bricks. Woo, there's some lava. Just going to jump right on over that. <laughs> yeah, we're not finding much are we we're not revealing that many blocks okay well that wasn't too bad that's a pretty solid mining session to be honest we got 49 copper blocks and 29 iron blocks out of that that's so many we literally got like an actual stack of iron blocks not even raw <laughs> did I watch the bad batch I have yes I'm waiting on the next episodes It's kind of a slow series so far. I'm sure it'll pick up though. Hey, finally some diamonds. Look at that. Nice. I was just trying to get to my tunnel. Sweet. Okay. Let's see how many we get. Ooh, this is a good one. It's got four. It's probably going to be it. And this is one of those weird five ones. Oh. It is one of those weird five ones. Yay! <laughs> I love the weird five ones. Like, oddly tall. Very nice. Okay, you guys know the deal. How many diamonds are we going to get from this? Let me know in the chat. The winner gets a free cookie. 
And a free ghost hug. I <laughs> uh, can't really throw away anything right now, can I? Hello, Dev. How you doing? Educa education edition is pretty good, actually. We're mining on Y10. Math says 15. Oh, lies. Lies. Lies and blasphemy. Okay, let's go. So we got eight in the inventory right now. Let's get this mine. Do, 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 do. Twelve, actually. Uh, the very first guest from Nagul. <laughs> GG. You got, tw you got two of these tonight. Very good. Mac also guessed it correctly. And a real swish. And that was it. Nice. GG's. Here's your free cookie. Here's your free hug. Nom nom. Pat pat. <laughs> you can't feel it or taste it, but it's there. Uh, this is the thing, actually. Nom 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 nom. Okay, cool. I don't know how long we were mining. Probably like an hour and a half, right? Time for sleep. No creepers? Good, no creepers. So, let's, uh, let's double check creepers. No creepers? I'm always afraid of like a creeper being up there, seeing me down there, walking off, and then walking down. That's why I don't want it to happen. Uh, please don't share dupe bitches. Thank you. Okay, let's craft all these into blocks. Two of those, six of those, five of those. So many things. Okay. Let's get these laid out in the proper order here. 43 diamonds. Solid. Oh my god, that's a lot of amethyst too. That's a really, really good haul. A stack and a half of copper blocks, just like that. Wow, we don't even have another right pickaxe. We could be going a little bit faster, even. How much faster is another netherite pickaxe? Is it like 10%? 15%? I'm not sure. It's gotta be something in that range, right? Seems like it might be. Um, let's see, put some sticks in there. Oh okay, yeah, we got the ender pearl now. We'll keep that for later, too. Hmm, nice. Yeah, we basically just like doubled the amount of stuff that we have. In reality, like we just, we just did super good on all that. <laughs> Let's craft these into blocks. Like we doubled or tripled the amount of things that we have. Just from that one mining trip? Let's take all these out of here. Oh yeah, I got another oxalato head. It's a cyan one. He's so adorable. Look at that. Oh, he's so cute. Uh, yeah, we do have a fix on here for the diamonds. Uh, we It's literally just like a one-digit change. And then we have the proper amount of diamonds. Foxy's a mad lad like that. Oh, we got another oxalato head. Boop. Adorable. This diamond bug. Yeah, currently in 117, diamonds don't generate as much as they should. Uh, it's fixed in the next hot fix. It'll be here soon. So just don't explore that many chunks. It'll be good. Hmm. I'll take that. I'm looking for other valuables in these chests. I don't really see any. Cool. Okay, so this is the actual valuables chest. The prime, proper, official, real valuables chest. Yeah, yeah. And still got other junk to get rid of. 
We have too much junk. Let's put these over there. All this raw fish or cooked fish. I don't need this in my storage system. So, a stack and a half coal blocks, 48 actual blocks of iron, a stack and 48 of actual copper blocks, 10 blocks of gold, 39 blocks of lapis, over two stacks of redstone blocks, 43 diamonds, 17 emeralds, and three stacks of amethyst shards. What? And a lot of fun and friends along the way, including five marks. <laughs> that was great. How's this doing on the things to burn? It's doing pretty good on things to burn. And it's still got some fuel as well. So it's got about, it's gone through about half of its uh, supply of kelp blocks. This is fantastic. Sweet. Dude, mining is so easy now. How long have I had carrots in my inventory? Don't really need those. Thank you. I will go ahead and do another harvest of the taters. Got to replant my other taters, you know? Maybe we'll uh, start selling golden, golden carrots one of these days? As a food source? I'm not sure. I want to I definitely be more into shops this season. Cool for the furnace god. All hail the furnace god. <laughs> All hail the mighty furnace. Yeah, it's a lot of coal for the furnace god. Seriously. We want to keep that thing burning as long as we possibly can. You know what? Let's actually go pull an item out of it. And we can see just how many levels we've gotten. I'm pretty sure last I checked, it should be about 40 levels per item pool. And then we got all this fish. And this fish is going to be doing us very good. Please stand for the furnace anthem. Or say it. Kneel. Whatever you want to do. You don't even have to sing it if you don't want to. You can go la 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 la. <laughs> Whatever you feel like doing. Uh, yeah, so we gotta lock that. We can... The, the furnace anthem isn't really that good, let's be honest. I haven't, I haven't done any real workshopping on it. 96. All the way to 96 levels. I don't think the... I don't think that was fixed, whip. Okay, 96 levels. 101. So much experience. I think it's literally like 40 levels. So, give it, like, two to three months of this thing burning down constantly. It's gonna be great. Because this has only been going for a couple of days. So, probably by, like, the end of the week. It's gonna be at, like, 100 levels. Because now each level is just increasingly more experience. I'm not sure if it's quite exponential, but it's, it's a lot. Uh, we have a fish farm, an AFK fish farm, so... We've just been doing a bit of fishing here and there. <laughs> Why does he have a DB head? I want that. I'm put this on my head. Boop! I'm DB now. This is great. <laughs> it actually goes on the outer layer. That's that's fantastic. Oh, jeez. How does the skin look with the actual mob heads? Um, yeah, that's about normal. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> terrible. All my skins look terrible with the mob heads. Anyway, that is about going to do it for today's live stream. I hope that you have greatly enjoyed. Thank you so much for stopping by tonight's stream, for hanging out with me for the first stream of Season 3. I'm going to be streaming again tomorrow on the server, so make sure to stick around for that. Drop a follow on the channel if you haven't already. Dropping a follow is the absolute best way to make sure that you are notified and informed of when we are live streaming. And yes, we're going to... 
Yes, we're gonna raid someone at the end of the stream, so stick around for that too. We got a couple of last minute followers armed. And Darwin plays. It's Dev, Zeppelin, Julio, Jerry, Runner, and Fortnite Season 7 Kid, Bomb, and Jano, or Janio. Thank you all so much for the support. Welcome to the silence. And I hope you have greatly enjoyed the stream. <laughs> Uh, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Thank you so so very much for watching. Let's head over to Liara or whoever else is streaming truly bedrock at the moment uh, Yeah, Liara's streaming very nice cool. You guys know Liara They they stream the truly bedrock. They're fantastic Stop by the stream and tell them where you came from with a hashtag silence or a raid pigo I'll see you over there in their live we'll stream and in the next one and if you enjoy their content, then make sure to drop a follow on them, too. I don't know if I said that or not, but I'm saying it now. <laughs> Have a good one, everyone. I love your faces. And then, the, and then there was silence. I messed up my outro. That's not right.